Whether you're stuck in band class or practicing your scales in your room, someone out there is playing on some stage rocking it out. But that stage can be in a plane, on a mountain, or even restricted areas. Today, we're going to show you some of the most amazing places that someone has played their instrument. Space. We're going to go big for our first one, like out of this world big. We all know the amazing Chris Hadfield who did Space Oddity, but earlier in 2011, astronaut Caddy Coleman brought up four flutes of various types including two regular sea flutes, one belonging to the rock flutist Jethro Tull. Together they played duets, Ian Anderson on Earth and Caddy in the space station. Caddy shared her thoughts about playing in space saying, it's really different to play up here. Coleman added, I float around in there, a lot of times I play with my eyes closed. She definitely can say she's had an out of world experience. Haunted House. Now this is an eerie one and something the truest of thrill seekers may want to try. Canadian flutist Jamie Thompson has a project called the Urban Flute Project where he goes all over the world and play flute in unusual places. The one we'll talk about today is when he played in a haunted house after giving classes. When everyone left for the day, Jamie returned to the house alone and decided to record a few songs. While playing some Bach, he could feel the ghosts were listening in on him. Now I don't know about you, but you gotta have nerves of steel to be able to go into some place that's known for its paranormal activity. You can check out his recordings at urbanfluteproject.com. The Taj Mahal. Legendary musician and flutist Paul Horn is known as one of the pioneers of improvised music. In 1968, while on tour with the famous Beatles, Paul snuck in during a thunderstorm at the famous Taj Mahal. There, he bumped into one of the guards. Paul mentioned he was a musician and he noticed that the guard was singing every so often. This was due to the fact that it was customary for the guard to sing at times for the spirits. The reverberation in the Taj Mahal is massive and can echo for over 30 seconds at a time. This caught Paul's attention and brought his flute the next time around, improvising with the guard and thus inspiring him to make his record Inside, which sold for over a million records. The Great Pyramid The logical successor to the Taj Mahal would have to have been in 1976 when Paul went to the pyramids in Egypt to record yet again. The pyramids fascinated him and how they affect people. He read a story about Napoleon and when he conquered Egypt. Napoleon visited the Great Pyramid and asked to be left alone in the king's chamber while his soldiers waited outside. When he emerged from the pyramid, all the color had drained from his face. He was ashen and looked absolutely shaken. People asked what happened, but he refused to talk about it and ordered that he never be asked again. On his deathbed, someone remembered this incident and said to him, do you remember the time you spent in the king's chambers and wouldn't speak of it? What happened? Even on his deathbed, Napoleon refused to discuss the matter. This intrigued Paul, and thought about this when entering the same king's chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza and recorded Inside 2. Be sure to take a listen to what people call the most unusual echo in the world. Paragliding at 8,000 feet. Nina Asamakopoulos is a flutist that loves to do the extreme. She's an avid rock climber and thrill seeker. And when she got the chance to go paragliding, she took it. But she didn't forget to bring her flute and a couple of cameras. With a stern grip, she played a few tunes out in the great blue sky. Would you be able to do that? I would be worrying of dropping that thing. So that's our list of amazing places where you can play your instrument. Could you do any of these? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you want to watch more, be sure to subscribe. Also take a look in the description for all the recordings we talked about today. See you next time.